So what is up guys, this is Nick here and in this episode basically what we're going to do is take your Samsung Galaxy S4 from version um, Android Lollipop to, you know, Android KitKat, the stock firmware. And I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Um, it's not super simple process, but we're going to do it right here, right now. Now I have the Samsung i337 version, which is the AT&T model, but if you just download the respective... Um, you know, firmware package for your device, if it's T-Mobile, Sprint, um, or even AT&T or Cricket or something. This should also work for you. So just follow these steps. We're going to go step-by-step step in detail, and we're going to head over to the computer right now. Let's go. All right, guys. So we're here at the desktop, and you got to have your Samsung Galaxy S4, of course. Now you can go ahead and power it down, and you're definitely going to need your micro USB cord, but you don't need them right this second. So let's put those off to the side for now. Now, I'm going to turn the camera up, and when we're on the desktop, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a folder. So let's just right click. If you're on a laptop, use your right click button, or you can double tap on the trackpad to get into the right click menu. Click New. And we're just going to create a folder. Of course, we all know how to do this. But, you know, for some that don't, we're just including that in there. So, Galaxy. Let's write Galaxy S4 Stock ROM. Just to make it super simple, you can easily find it. You can call this folder whatever you would like. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and go to Google. And you're going to want to just type in this simple search term right here. Let's see, let's see if you guys can see that a bit. Just type in download Odin. And uh, you're going to want to look for version 3.0.9. This one seems to work the best. So just go to any website and just get this, this Odin right here. You're just going to want to download it. I'll leave the links to download it down below in the description. I'll link to one of these websites or something just so you can easily download this. But this is what Odin looks like right here so you guys can see. You're going to need that to complete this process. Okay, so let's go back to Google one more time. And um, the next thing you're going to want to do, sorry about the camera movement, I'm using an iPhone here, it's a little bit tricky. So uh, you're going to want to download, let's just say you have an AT&T one like this example, you're going to want to download Android 4.4.2 or whatever ROM you want to go back to, whichever the stock one you want to, um, firmware. And for my motto, it's AT&T Galaxy S4. For you, you can put whatever model you have. So let's just hit Google search. And uh, you'll find you'll find the firmware package over here somewhere. You know, just go into one of these blogs where somebody has, you know, included the firmware package in there. Like, like this one, for example, download the firmware package. Then you're just going to go ahead and download it. Now, I already have these on my computer. So it's uh, pretty easy. So yeah, basically go ahead and download those and uh, go put them into your folder that we talked about earlier, your Galaxy S4 stock ROM. But because I already did this before this video, mines are actually in Galaxy S4 root. I have a bunch of files in here. Let me zoom out and show you those right there. And uh, the next step is going to be to go ahead and power your Galaxy S4 into download mode. So you're going to want to take your, your power button and your volume down, just like this, it's simultaneously. And that will take you into download mode. Then you want to put continue as a volume up to continue into download mode. Now take your USB cord, plug it into your computer, wherever your USB location is, and just sit it on in here. Now, before you go ahead and do that, make sure you had your, your Odin downloaded and your you know, firmware package downloaded. Now, before we go into actually you know, downloading it, just leave your Galaxy S4 like that for now. You're gonna wanna extract that file. For our example, mine was AT&T. So that firmware package that you downloaded, you wanna extract that first. So find the file, it, you, it's gonna be a RAR file at first, you're going to want to extract it to an MD5 or a TAR file. All that mumbo jumbo means is it's turning it into a zippable format. So essentially, go and locate like something like 7-zip and download that to your computer. Or you can, you know, find, um, what's it called? Windows zip extractor. Just get an extractor that can extract all kinds of files. 
So for mine, I use a Windows uh, 7 zip. Let's see, it's right there. 7 zip right there. So I go ahead and I open this up and then I locate that firmware package like I said at first. That firmware package, let's go down. And it's right here. So what I wanna do now is I'm going to go ahead and hit extract and I'm going to extract it to let's see where did I create that folder galaxy s4 root right there that's the folder that it was already in but the one you created is the one you're gonna want to send it to of course and then it'll be in that once you let it go ahead and extract it'll be in that file where you left it so now back to the phone all your files your Odin file number one and your firmware package that was extracted should be in your newly created folder now what we're gonna want to do is we're just gonna open up Odin real quick so we're gonna just open up Odin and extract that too so you can you know open the application let it run as an administrator so hey yes now you'll see this screen now is when if you have any errors here then you didn't extract it right or something leave these on at reset time and auto reboot if you see this com with a blue sign you're good to go we're ready to go now you'll either see AP or um, some other PDA or something right here it's the second one that you want to tap so you click this and then you're gonna want to locate that tar file that MD5 it has to be dot tar dot MD5 it can't be dot rar it's not even gonna show up here so once you have that you just want to hit open and let it do its thing and it'll say please wait and please wait it might even say not responding up there but just give it a second it will start responding and like i say your galaxy s you know 4 was plugged in you know it's already ready to go so make sure you didn't forget to do that and uh let it do its thing it takes a couple of seconds so remember create a folder number one number two download odin see there it goes download odin and download the firmware packages extract both of those and send them into that folder so it's easy to find then open up Odin. Make sure the auto reboot F reset time is on. COM6 is loaded. And then go ahead and click a P or PDA. And uh, then you want to hit click start. I'm not going to hit start because mine is already on this version. And um, then it'll say pass up here. You just wait for it. And then you'll be back on Android version, stock version, or 4.4.2 um, easily. So. That's pretty much how to take your Samsung Galaxy S4 back to the stock firmware. So just another recap, number one, create a folder. Number two, download Odin and download um, your firmware for whichever Galaxy S4 you have here. Um, go ahead and extract Odin and extract the firmware that you downloaded for your phone through a zip extractor into that folder that you created then put your phone into download mode by holding power and volume down plug it into the usb open up the odin application click ap or pda and then you will locate that tar file that you extracted through your zip extractor hit start and you should be ready to go just let your phone sit and once it's done and you see it rebooting then you can unplug it from the computer and that's pretty much how to take it back to the firmware um, if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead hit that thumbs up down below any questions if it was a little confusing go ahead and leave your comments down below we'll get into a chat and we'll do a solution there um, anyways I'm gonna probably do some videos on new ROMs for the S4 and I know this is an older phone but who cares? You know, this is the phone I got in the drawer right now. I'm going to play around with. I got the S5. I know you guys seen on the channel. But I'm not trying to, you know, root that right now. I'm still using that as like an everyday phone here and there. So I don't really want to mess with root right now on that because that takes a lot of time and stuff. So we'll get into that later on if I get bored with these other phones. But that pretty much wraps it up. And I'll catch you all in the next episode, guys. Peace.